Hey, this is DM Allen. Thanks for joining us once again for another week of awesomeness. Uh, let's just get it started. Last time on Roll with Advantage. Oh, that shiny thing. It says mountain. Dude, that's a piece of six. Grab that shit. She's got um, this very ornate looking sword in her hand. It's got these jewels on it and uh, this obsidian blade. You see a uh, kraken pulling its way through the cavern. It is the biggest thing you've ever, ever encountered. Fool, give me the piece of six now, or I shall destroy you all. I say, uh, oh man, I'm practically untouchable because of this piece of six I've got. Oh, God. <laughs> And I continue you're flying away. You're tempting fate, Adam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you dodgy, are. Dodgy, dodgy. Fly away. It's like injuries that just melt off me. Ten. I'm going to get within 60 feet so I can cast Flame Strike again. Okay. And I have a 60-foot fly speed, so that shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. Okay. You're fine. Uh, deck saving throw. 24. Plus a dex save. All right, so 20 radiant becomes 10 radiant, and 12 radi- or twelve fire becomes 6 fire. All right. It is now Keo's turn. Um, Keo's going to burn another uh, thing and cast his last, uh, his last fireball. And uh, Slar's going to make it. Uh tentacles uh pop out of the water uh and uh were you grappled before that yeah so it throws you at devo oh no um uh it throws you kinian at devo and isn't she like point blank like she ran up and oh that's right him. that's right yeah so uh that's She's a throwing, disadvantage throwing me at a, her himself basically just like <laughs> Uh, yeah. It's like eating popcorn, just like missing his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, it's still gonna hit uh, her at a uh, twenty. Um, yeah, her AC isn't isn't that great. It actually matches. Um, so uh, so it's gonna hit her. You both are going to take um, twenty six points of bludgeoning damage, and. Uh, you guys are now uh, tumbling into the water. It also is going to release an ink cloud. Uh, so you are like, you are covered in this black, thick ichor um, uh, as like this dark ink cloud just kind of like spews forth from its body in many different uh, sections. But I'm still adjacent. Yes, you are still adjacent. Yay. Uh, you're just dirty. Dirty. <laughs> and you can't see. Underwater, at least. Um, uh, make a con saving throw for me, please. No problem. 23. Okay. Uh, uh, you see next to you, um, uh, Devo. Well, you don't really see her, but you hear like, you hear like, oh, God, it's in my mouth. Um, <laughs> it's sinking in my mouth. Said. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you take uh, 14 points of damage halved because uh, you succeed. Uh, what type from of damage is poison? This? Ah. Uh, and then uh, uh, Devo is going to take the brunt of that. I think it's your turn, Kenyon. I like paddle up next to Slar Crethel, and I'm swearing to myself and orcish basically and you piece of shit yeah. and uh i try to like climb up a little bit okay but and take some swings outside of the water at him okay uh is there any mechanical disadvantage due to a slashing weapon in water uh not for this because you're like if you're keeping pace and like you're just like swinging i'm not gonna give you disadvantage for that Okay, so then I'm gonna beat his ass. Yep. Nineteen on the die. That hits. And a miss. That's good. Max damage. Ghetto crit. Thirty-five points of damage. Excellent. Um, 
Uh, Manette, from a distance, you can see, like, uh, Slars taking a fair bit of, of damage. Um, uh, it's looking rough. Um, not that great, anyways. I'm gonna shoot him. Okay. Oh, shoot. That's a 17. That's gonna miss. Fuck! One, one shy. <laughs> um... Uh, and it is now Devo's turn. Devo is going to attack, uh, and is going to hit. Okay. Uh, and it is the boss monster's turn. Uh, he is going to, um, he is going to attack at, at Eukinian and at, uh, Devo. Devo, yeah. I'm going to use my reaction. Okay to protect Devo from the damage using my spirit shield. Uh, 30 is going to hit. Is it disadvantage? It's at disadvantage. It is? Yeah. Okay. Everybody but me. Uh, it's still going to hit. That's higher than 30. Um, she takes... 25 points of damage. Halved. Yep. And then okay. I subtract 10. So she takes like 2 points of damage. Jesus Christ. And Slarkrethel takes 10 points of damage. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Because the amount I shielded is reflected back onto him. Oh, nice. Okay. Sucker. So he only did 2 points of damage to her. Suck it. <clears throat> Suck it, Trebek. Um, <laughs> and then he's going to attack you, Kinian. Which makes sense. Uh, and it is a... Um, uh, she is grappled, though. So that is yep. still something to note. Uh, Kenyon, he's got advantage on you, right? You... Did yeah. You, yeah. Definitely. Uh, okay, so that's going to be a 31. And that is going to hit... Um, Miss. <clears throat> uh, you take 21 points of bludgeoning. Yep. And uh, you are grappled as well. Um, it is going to... Uh, hmm. It's going to take both of you guys and drag you under the water. Yeah, and like drag you oh, in the ink. <laughs> uh, uh, make a con save for me, please. Shut up, Dan. Shut up. <laughs> God damn it, Dan. I fail. All right. Wow, what a shitty D10 roll. Yay. Uh, for D10, <laughs> you take nine points of damage. Yay. That's not halved. Hey, we did worse than that against him, <laughs> yeah. so uh, shut up. Yeah, it's it rolled a 4 2, two one. <laughs> How much damage? Nine? Nine. <laughs> not halved yet. So, um, uh, so... Yeah, that's nine points of of poison damage. And she takes half. Okay. Because of me. All right. Um, and you're dragging under the water. It is Bond's turn. How far away am I from him? Slar. That's a really good question. How far do you want to be? Because you're actually, you make the pace. He's He continuously moves 60 feet each round. I want to stay about 100 feet in front of him then. Okay. Okay, so I'm 100 feet away from him. Yep. <laughs> I fly back. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you fall back, okay. And I'm like, hey, hey, remember me? And I strike him with a fist of you unbroken air. punch him? Okay. <laughs> All right. I am going to only get uh, 30 feet from him, though. Like, I'm not going to fly all okay. the way up to him and be like. <laughs> All right. So that's a strength save? Uh, that is going to make it. It's 15 uh, plus a billion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's like, that's almost 40. That's uh, half of 13 bludgeoning, or half of 13 force damage and 13 radiant damage. Uh, so 13. 13 force damage halved because you made the save. Yep. And then 13 radiant damage from being radiant. And then I'm going to fly away again. <laughs> uh, okay. It's going to take an attack of opportunity against you. It doesn't get to? Yeah, it Why? does. 
because I have the thing. What no, thing? you got to use a bonus action, I think, if you want to do no, the it's dodge, the, or not dodge, uh, the monk thing. It's the mobile thing. Oh, because he made an attack. Yeah, he's oh. right. Mobile. Nice. Nice. Yep. You, okay. You stud. You tricky <laughs> son of a bitch. You stud. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm like, you get within 30 feet. What? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Look at this. <laughs> um, it's going to use its fling to throw Devo at you, Bon. And that is going to hit at a 34. Fly up, devil, fly up. <laughs> uh, uh, and she's she's like, she's got ink in her eyes and like. Which uh, way is up? Yeah, she looks, <laughs> she looks like, you know, like mascara, like when you're in the rain and, and the mascara runs and it's just like going everywhere. That's that's what her <gasps> eyes look like right all now. She's going thinking about all week she's going is bad. throwing ink on someone's face. <laughs> And you yeah, did it. I, know. I did it. You did it. Uh, <laughs> um uh yeah, so she gets thrown at you. Uh Bon, you take uh, nine, ten. Uh and then are you staying at the hundred foot distance? Yeah, I'll get back to that. Okay. You both have resistance against the damage, however. <laughs> because of Kenny. <Gideon. laughs> okay. Those ancestral guardians are getting a workout, man. No kidding. Uh, so you take 50 points of damage. 5 0. Halved, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, oh, shit. Uh, does Devo get it halved as yeah, well? Yeah, everybody, okay. baby. It was about to be a falling bone. It's like Oprah. <laughs> you get a half. You get a half. You get a half. You get a half. All right. Um, and it is Tin's turn. I am going to cast a flame strike at level seven. So I don't have any more level five slots. Yeah, baby. And I hope he fails his dex save. Uh, he chooses to succeed. Can I use a legend? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 21 radiant, which becomes 10 radiant, and then 17 fire, which becomes 8 fire, and then it dies. <laughs> no. Aww. No. Uh, nice eight. try. <laughs> 17 is... Next is... Kyo. Uh, I think at this point, uh, even if he were to double it, it's going to be outside of range. Um, so he's going to be like, you got this, Manette, and that's it. <laughs> Keo had, uh, inspiration, and he's going to spend it, so remind Ben. <laughs> ben, you no longer have inspiration, because we took it from you. <laughs> yep. Well, you got experience, so. Yeah, yep. It's Kinian's turn. Uh, you can attempt to break the grapple if you like. Fuck no. Oh, okay. I attack this fool. Okay. <laughs> Underwater. Yeah. Uh, disadvantage. Reckless. <laughs> oh. It's a hit. Okay. Ooh, this turn was destined to be suck. 25 points. <laughs> that turn real sucked. 25 points. Fuck! I wish my sucky turns did that much damage. <laughs> I rolled a two. <laughs> All right. Um, and it is now... Minette, your turn. So I have advantage from yeah. the inspiration? Yep. Well... I have the inspiration, right? It's been transferred to yeah. me. I don't I don't need to use it unless I suck <laughs> yes. at the roll. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you suck. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 19 on the die. So Nice. Yeah, that hits. 25 points of damage. 25. Yeah. Right. You guys it in your 20-so damage. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> uh, three All threes right. and three ones. And then a two and a five on on all those d6s. Like, that's way subpar. Subpar. Uh, does a 20 hit you, Bon? 
He's hasted. No. All right. Uh, it flings you, uh, Kinian. Woo! And uh, and it throws you. You take. Have I hit something? The water. Oh shit. Uh, you take. Uh, twelve plus thirteen. What is that? Uh, tw- twenty-five. Twenty-five. Twenty-five points of damage. Uh, as it throws you at at Bon and misses. Twelve points. Um. Uh, Devo's turn. Uh, Devo is going to, uh, recover. Well, actually, let's find out. Yeah, Devo recovers from the, from the collision and, uh, and starts, uh, starts moving back. Uh, is able to get to him, um, and attacks. Oh, shit. She crits. Sucker. She doesn't have paladin levels, does she? No. <laughs> Smite. Um, she she is uh, very much engaged in battle with uh, with Slar, um, and then all of a sudden Slar pops out of existence. That's rude. We were just about to kill him. Did he get banished? Uh, no. You give me a arcana for me, please. Uh, twenty. Twenty. Uh, you you saw just uh just the makings of a uh, teleport, um, right near the end of it, and uh and the water uh the displaced water, uh uh like sucks in and it like splashes upward i attempt to use the ring to pop back to the ship does uh, the teleport work yep you Perfect. pop right back i do that too yeah that's a good i also idea. heal myself twice do you grab devo oh yeah i can grab devo okay um can you i slap the water and fuck and teleport back to the ship okay the how how does the ship look uh, 502 out of 600, so... Okay. Okay. Pretty right. decent. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all right. Um, so your ship is, is flyable, um, kind of. Uh, if Bon keeps up his, his, uh, uh, gust of wind or whatever, if, if you guys can keep that going, um, or with the easterly wind, uh, that easterly wind will actually take you somewhere right over, uh, uh, water deep. Um, uh, Manette and Tin, you know that's not recommended. Uh, airspace is it's restricted airspace. Um, um, we're not supposed to leave town either. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, uh, Devo, Devo. Since there's that whole act of murder investigation on Bon and all that, <laughs> Devo, Devo looks at you guys and is like, "What was that all about? You guys." Had him on the ropes. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody could have taken Sklar Krethel down like, like that. Uh, what what possesses you guys to think that you can fight a kraken? Like, like he was running, and you chased after him. He tried to sink my ship. He sunk enough of my ships. <laughs> Enough's enough. Well, we're not just anybody. We've seen some <laughs> shit. We've <laughs> fought some people, so... Apparently. We we know our capabilities. You remember Imrith? Uh, no, I've never heard of that name before. The Doom of the Desert. I've, I've heard of that. That's Imrith, she's dead. You're welcome. Wow. Um, okay. <laughs> plus plus okay. a few more ancient dragons that were bad people and needed to be taught a lesson. Oh, okay. That's that's impressive. Um, so where where to from from here? We're landing outside of the town, and and okay. I take the I take control essentially and start barking orders. Barking orders. Okay. Poorly. With my goal to uh, land the ship near the gate by the trade ward to basically take us oh, out on, on land, land outside okay. of the city. Okay. 
Where's Boo? Um, I I assume she's still knocked out. No, she's not. Uh, she was helping during the battle. She attacked Slarkraft a couple times. Which I mean okay. was was very nice of her, but um, we can't trust her. I I didn't think we could. Uh, just this is, this is just between us. Um, she's, she's no good. She's tainted by something. She's a Brightwood. She can come back from it. Bon, I, she's been touched by something from the abyss. She's... Then we have to help her come back from it. You don't understand. Your parents worked very hard to try and bring her back, but... We're the Order of the Obsidian Flame. We attack Krakens. <laughs> we can bring her back. You're right. If, if I turn invisible could... and, and go searching on the ship to figure out where Boo is and make sure she's... I go I go normal searching. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Boo's, uh, Boo's actually, like, uh, at this point, like, sitting up in Kyo's uh, nest, like, like, hanging out with him. Um... Uh, uh, Kyo, Kyo is just kind of chatting her up and and like uh, uh, talking about like how uh, how the cobalt winners were cold and blah 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 and, and stuff like that. Um, and she she's got like the smile on her face. And um, uh, do you do anything before Bon comes up on top of the deck? No. Okay. Bon, you see this as well. Hey, Boo. And that sounds weird. Just to <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, your sister. What up, boo? <laughs> uh, uh, she looks down at you, and uh, and she loses all of her happiness, and then she turns away from you, and she looks eastward, uh, giving you a clear, cold shoulder. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll fly up there okay. and, and turn visible again. Okay. Oh, gosh, what to say. Um, we appreciated you helping with, uh, you know, with, with that attack. Um, we're still a little unsure if we can trust you. So could you please kindly come down to the main part of the ship and talk with the rest of us? Uh, she... She looks at you and she says, um, well, of course. And, uh, and she's got kind of like this placid look on her face as she, uh, as she's looking at you. And then she, uh, stands up on the, like the handrail. And, uh, when, uh, when she's standing up on the handrail, uh, Devo comes up from, from the deck and she says, she goes, I, I forgot to tell you. And uh, 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 Boo takes a step out from from the handrail and plummets. And when she plummets, space rips, um, uh, much like you saw with uh, with Tin Spell. And uh, the sickly, uh, gooey tentacle uh, reaches out and grabs onto her uh, her ankle and pulls her through the rip in space, and it seals. Well, that's rude. Whoops. And uh, she says, "She can, she can, tr she can travel with that thing that she's somehow bound to. It makes her very difficult to track. She didn't attack us, so I mean, there's hope." <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm DM Allen. Thank you so much for joining us once again. This is season two, episode 37. Thank you to all of our fans. You guys have been absolutely fantastic and uh, it's much appreciated. Um, if you guys want to 
kind of help the show out and help it grow, uh, please go to Twitter and follow at DM's Table. And whenever you talk about the show, uh, tell your friends and everybody about us, use hashtag RollWithAdvantage. Uh, you can also do the same at Facebook at the DM's Table. And if you wouldn't mind, take just a, a little bit of your time and rate and review the show on, on whatever platform you're listening to, if, if it's applicable. It really, really helps our show out and uh, it doesn't take you guys that much time. So we would really appreciate it if you could do that. Now I want to talk about this week's sponsor. This week's sponsor is Audible. Audible is an amazing audiobook platform that has over 180,000 books to choose from. It's absolutely fantastic. We've been using it for a very long time, me and my wife, and uh, it doesn't matter whether you have an Android or iPhone, you can get it on both platforms. It's great. You subscribe and uh, you get credits for books and you can spend those credits on the books and really build up your digital collection. And Audible's been so generous. They are actually giving all of our listeners a free audiobook download with a 30-day trial free. All you got to do is go to audibletrial.com slash RWA. Go try it now and help support the show by signing up. This week, I've been listening to the entire series of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. It's absolutely fantastic. Very, very funny British humor. Uh, you guys should really check it out. It adventures into all sorts of wacky space adventures and uh, really gets the creative juices flowing. You should go check it out now. Uh, it's on Audible. All right, let's talk about Incompetech. Incompetech.com is a fantastic audio platform. They have all sorts of just genius scores. Uh, we've been using them from the beginning, and I can tell you that they are great for putting your players in the mood, and they are great for, uh, obviously, audio dramas like ours, and they are fantastic for just listening to. As a DM, I can kick that on while I'm prepping, and it puts me instantly in the world, and I am ready to write and to develop a story and come up with these interesting situations to put my players in. And the best part about it is Incompetech is free. So go check it out. It's absolutely fantastic platform. That's Incompetech.com. All right, that's all I have for you this week. So let's get back to the action. See you out on the internet. Bye guys. Is there anything else that we need to know? Or are there no other surprises? I... Uh... There's a, a war going on. Well, many wars. I think you mentioned that. Yeah, they're starting again. Uh, uh, there's... The Chaos Wars are, are starting again. Um, I, I don't... But so Boo doesn't have about it. any other powers, abilities? No, not really. Um, uh, she's... Well, she's thought to be one of the the archangels of chaos, um, much like I am for law, uh, but that's about it. So, you all want to go to Waterdeep? We want to have our ship repaired. And we okay. should probably clear Bond's name, since he didn't actually commit any murder. You, you're... Accused of murder? Murder suspect, yes. I may have uh, lent my dagger to... Um, yeah, I gave my dagger to Boo on accident. And she killed somebody with it. Bon, she's hunting you. Yeah, I figured that out. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, we should definitely clear that up. Uh... Uh, I don't know how much help I'm going to be in that matter. Um, and, uh, she says, well, I can, maybe we n need to try and find Kaigal again, uh, after your ship is repaired. And we have, I don't know, a better crew. And you see, like, you see, like, Q 
Kinian or you hear him barking orders and like nobody on the ship is doing anything <laughs> but standing in the powwow and like talking. Well, <laughs> do we have our crew back yet? No. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kinian, I think you're getting quite frustrated at this point. Like nobody's following orders and, and like the ship just isn't doing what you want it to do. Um, I think it's it's like getting on your nerves at this point. Yeah. Kinian actually walks up right into the the middle of all of you. Uh, and uh, says, I need to get my real crew. And I attack Bon. What? You attack Bon? Recklessly. Why? Okay. All right. So to get the piece to sit. Oh shit! Okay, do your thing. I think that hits. That's suck. That's not the D twelve. That's a D twenty. Um. What do you do at minimum? Twenty some. Twenty nine points, I and I go can. for knockout. So I hit him with the flat. Okay, non lethal. Non lethal. Uh, you knock out Bon. And I grab the piece of six and blow the conch. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> all right. So, so Kinian just like walks up, beats the Christ out of Bon with mm-hmm. one hit, grabs the uh, this like this amber uh, uh, skull-sized rock uh, that's glowing in his hands, and uh, and like uh, just blows the conch. And just poop disappears. Well then, did you reattune to that? That's a good question. Uh, no, uh, the conch drops. So I thought I was getting the crew. <laughs> <laughs> so we can follow. I wake Bon up. Boop. <laughs> you got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> That shit was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, did anyone see, like, Kenyon get, like, a spell being cast on Kenyon during the battle? Could this be something that the Kraken is doing? Uh, Devo says, I, I didn't see anything. I saw, I saw the Kraken casting a lot of spells, but no, I... I didn't see him affected somehow. Do you have any insight, Bon? Do you know why Kenyon would do this? Take the piece of six? Yeah. Well, one, he's a dick who doesn't have any manners. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing he's giving it back to the giants if he boomed off with the shell. Unless the Kraken has the ability to control still? Because you- we were all kind of... You guys saw him blow the shell? Yeah, he blew the shell. Did you... Did any of you get touched by the ichor? And and well, that's Kenyon, a... Kenyon was actually wrapped around by a tentacle. Um, no, I'm... So... I mean, the... Uh, yeah, the that, algae. Sh- that shit in the... Yeah. yeah. And Keo would be the one who actually would have been safe, but he smoked his pipe full of it. Um... And and she's <laughs> <laughs> don't do drugs. <laughs> don't do drugs. <laughs> um, Stay in school, kids. Uh, she says, uh, um, "Well, unfortunately, that that uh, that algae is what Slark used to keep those who are disobedient from undermining him. He was using it to keep." It sickens me to say it, but perfect law in the town. He was he was ruling over it to to do his bidding. From what I can tell, uh, I he's trying to become a god. He's uh he's doing pretty good at it too. He's got quite the cult behind him. Uh, she says she says, well, um, do you do you have any like cruise quarters that? I might be able to stay in. I'm not doing so hot. And could really kind of use a nap. 
You're not doing so hot. I think a lot of us uh, feel a little yeah. worse for wear. Um, I mean, a long rest would not be uh, uh, out of the question as far as I'm concerned. It would also let us think about what the hell our next yeah. move is. Um, what was this? You can you can attune over an hour. So if you wanted to do anything, uh, if not, if you just want to take a long rest, we'll go over to Kinian. I'm fine with a long rest. It's from from what I remember, it's been a long day already. <laughs> yeah, so. It's been real. Okay, so to <laughs> quick lay out the day, you guys decided to go into town and uh, and check out Skullport. Uh, you did all this stuff, and then you fought the Kraken. Like, that's your whole day. <laughs> and we fought sharks on our way into yeah. Skullport. Yeah. I think it's nap time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering if we should teleport there and then finish our long rest there. Like, do an hour, but... We need to get I someone guess, starting to repair the ship. Yeah. And I guess he can't really leave unless they help him he out. He can teleport back with the ring. Oh, and tell her back to us, but he can't leave to go somewhere else unless they help him. So, sure. Okay, we'll do a long rest. We we take the ship in to um, Waterdeep, land it, and try and get some repairs started. Uh, while you guys are doing that, we'll uh, work on the Kinian stuff. Uh, so Kinian, you pop into uh, into the greeting hall, which you've uh, been many times now. And uh, uh, where do you want to go? I, at first, I realize that I'm no longer holding the conch. Yeah. And uh, there's orcish words that come out of my mouth. Uh, and I mutter as I start walking up the stairs, like, go get my crew. Look like an ass. Not even like, you know... <laughs> about, you know, hitting Bon, basically. I, I feel like I'm going to be an ass by not coming back with the crew. Cause yeah. In Kinian's mind, he was going to solve two problems the same time. Yeah. Uh, problem A is the fact that no one on this ship, on the ship, knows what the hell they're doing, and I'm going to go get a proper crew. Yep. And problem number two is the piece of six is obviously being sought after by powerful creatures, and I trust no one at this point so um i'm returning it to princess sarissa and hoping for queen queen sarissa <laughs> hoping for um profit okay yeah um uh so you head up to the chambers the yeah. the conference chambers i go to the bar first okay and the hill giants there with us chip and dale uh get up and i look for smaller bottles that they may have imported. Okay. Whatever I can jam into my uh, my quiver, basically. Okay. Um, uh, you're able to get... Um, roll a uh, d10 for me. Ocho. Ocho. So uh, you're able to get uh, eight bottles of, of uh, fine liquor. Uh, while you're, like, raiding the cabinets... Uh, Sarissa actually walks from the uh, corridor that's right next to the bar, and she's just kind of uh, walking through, and she goes, Kinian, what are you doing here? Thirsty. And there's this, and I hold it up, up <gasps> above the bar. Uh, Piece of six. She grabs it from you, and she says, this is highly unexpected. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very impressed. Does Clark Crathel have this? Yeah, he's ornery. He's threw me a couple times. So he knows you have this. Oh, no. He doesn't he, know he doesn't you doesn't came know here. I have this. He knows that Bond has this. I, I'm afraid for your crew's safety. But he doesn't know it's here, right? Like, no. Okay, okay. Um, no, I, I didn't think it was safe in uh, Waterdeep. So I it definitely would not be safe there. I took took care of it. I might have lost the conch in doing so. Uh, where? 
That's huh? a loophole we need to close up. That's a loose thread. It's on my ship. Oh, okay. Okay. You didn't, like, lose it, lose it. No. Like, out in the... Okay, no. okay. Because, I mean, that's kind of a key into my house. So, um, I mean, you essentially would have lost my house key. So. Well, I'd just find it again like I did the first time. <laughs> Come with me real quick. Uh, uh, I'll... Boys, it's happening! <laughs> uh, uh, she she brings you into the treasury. Does Kenyon say that out loud? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she, he hits the ring, but nobody's there to hear it. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Give me a percentile, please. 63. All right. I'm notoriously bad with these. Uh, give me three d six. Damn it. Nine. Nine. You get nine one thousand gold piece gems. I would highly suggest not marking that into your treasure, like into your gold, um, because you're not gonna be able to sell them fast enough, and Keo might want it. So uh, nine as trade. So <clears throat> nine one thousand gold piece gems. Those are definitely. Uh, spell components. So. Uh. Uh, you also need to give me a d4, please. And it's a four. It's a four? Okay. Uh, let's do each one of you give me a percentile. Yay, I rolled good. Uh, we'll start with Adam's number first. 51. 51. Uh, you get a uh, spell scroll that she hands you, but you can't read, so you have no clue what it is. Um... Uh, who's the mule for this group? Ten? Generally oh, yeah. ten. Okay. Uh, uh, seventh level spell scroll. Holy shit. Um, uh, what'd you get, Dan? Three. Three. That's because that's nice. how I roll. Uh, give me a d4. Damn. Four. Uh, four supreme healing potions. Oh, me gusta. <laughs> me gusta. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's fitting. Uh, uh, AJ. 16. 16. Uh, give me a d4. One. One. Uh, you get another supreme healing potion. So are they supreme or superior? Supreme. Like Optimus? Yeah. <laughs> Optimus Prime <laughs> Optimus Supreme? supreme. <laughs> I think that's the Domino's <laughs> pizza. <laughs> that's... Oh, it's uh, the optimist that comes with all the toppings. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> He's got the hand cannon and all that stuff. Uh, uh, Whoops. Uh, Marina. 92. 92. Holy. Nice. Dun, um, uh, you get a, another spell scroll, 8th level. Maybe one of them will be something a cleric can use. Quite possibly. We'll have to find that out. Uh, so she hands you, she hands you this treasure um, in like a uh, like a knapsack type or like a, a messenger bag uh, type situation and um, uh, she says uh, and I have one more gift for you and uh, she brings you into into her room um, it's that's, happening <laughs> that's, that's downstairs and you see uh, you see your entire crew like a awake and uh, and just kind of like lounging, and she's like, "I let your crew uh, use my room as as guests, and um, uh, they're healed." And and uh, uh, two eye Mary's like, "Hey, boss." Hey, uh, and, I forgot and, the shell. And uh, <laughs> uh, the no hazard pay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the rope, the safety lead, the rope. Um, uh, he's like. Why you look so down, Kidian? Down? What? Did you have other ideas in mind coming here? And and you like the whole party is like... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, give me a perception check. I can't believe they made it to her bedroom before I did. <laughs> and they've been there a while, too. <laughs> 14. 14. Uh, you notice uh, a smirk on on uh, uh, Queen Sarissa's face. Um, uh, and Fessa, A smirk? That's actually a, a pretty good sign. Yeah. <laughs> it's a joke. It could yeah. be worse. Yeah, it could go She's not either offended way. At She's it. not offended. Fatso's like, so you're here to save us, boss? 
I saved you when I sent you here. I'm here to bring you back to f to steer the ship because we're worthless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I might have drove it into some rocks. <laughs> and you see, you see Lucky, and and like he he just he gets super red in the face, and and he face palms just just like smacks his forehead. It's like you didn't you didn't run it aground. Tell me you didn't run it aground. I did. They weren't following my orders. God damn it! My ship. I mean your ship. Your ship. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Okay. Breathe, Lucky. Breathe. Is it still airworthy? Please tell me it's still airworthy. It took on some damage, but it's still airborne. Okay. I just came from it. There were some creepy little crab goblins that we were calling... Croblins? Grabs. Oh, I like that. That's good. That's way better than croblins. <laughs> they might have done some damage to the ships. That sounds terrible. I know. It's it's wind-powered. So, uh... So primitive. So we head him back now? Eh, about that. How about we wait about an hour? <laughs> <laughs> um, and they're like, uh, okay. And, um, uh, uh, Robbie, um, little, little known Robbie, the deck swab, uh, uh, throws you a, uh, a, like, big hunk of, like, uh, uh, linked sausages. And, and he's like, here, have a snack. And, uh, and there's, like, a bunch of cheese and stuff like that. Like, this really nice platter. Um, and time goes by. Um, do you guys, uh, uh, uh Minette and Tin and, and Bon, do you guys head over there? Does anybody attune to it? Or is there just, a uh, long rest going? Uh, I'll attune to it. Do you head back? Yeah. Okay. I want to come if... Can I have other... Short rest benefits too. Yeah. Uh, if they don't come within an hour, mm -hmm. um, I, I take a nap. Okay. Or pass out. Whichever <laughs> comes first. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Let's see here. Did you guys short rest or long rest? Uh, Sound, Bon short, like short rested. Right. And I short rest. Just in case Bond comes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Why would Bond do that? Bond and Tin, uh, go to Maelstrom. Uh, and Bond, you are attuned. Um, you need to drop an attunement. Uh, I already dropped the... You, you have three items currently. I have the flame and the hat and now the conch. Nope. What else do well, I have? Unless you drop the sword. He didn't have the sword. I I don't know if you want to count that as attuned for years. Yep. All right, I'll drop the hat. Okay. Attunement fades if you don't have the item, though. Is it a special item? It's a special item. Oh. Okay, so you drop the hat, um, and... Uh, I'm going to go with him just because I don't want to split the party and not be able to okay. do things. Sounds good. Uh, Minette. Uh, I give you my hat. To hold on to. If you want a hat of disguise. To, to attune to if you want. No, I, I already have enough stuff. Okay. That's why I didn't attune to the... I Kyo. say, you want my hat? And he says, no. Kyo <laughs> says... Uh, Kyo, I'm good. I pull on my like, helm of comprehend languages for no reason. <laughs> Kyo says, ooh, ooh, ooh. I can hold on to that for you. You've already got one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, Keo, here, here you go. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, remember, you gave that to Ben. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, Keo is going to um, uh, Keo's going to watch the ship, and he says, he says to Minette, he says, I think I'm going to teach Supper how to how to drive the ship, because uh, if Kinian can't, maybe Supper can. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> 
wouldn't that mean you have to know how to pilot the ship? Uh, he whistles, and Supper, like, gets up on two legs and, like, has his paws up on the on the thing. And he says, don't worry about it. We got this. <laughs> Okay, which is doing nothing yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, the the helm does nothing. <laughs> yeah. the, there's no rudder, so. I'm like, so, uh, front, or you good? Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys, uh, so, so you pop back, you, uh, you hear the nice jazz coming from the, uh, from the auditorium, and you head up through the auditorium to, uh, the throne room. Uh, and nobody's there, um, uh, but you hear a bunch of laughing um, uh, coming from behind the th- throne room uh, near the the royal treasury, back where Sarissa gave you guys the the potions of giant size. And you hear the crew laughing, and uh, you hear you hear Kinian's booming laugh, uh, and you head that way, um, seeing the the crew sharing in a meal. And just kind of taking it easy. And I walk up to Kenyon and slap him in the face. There's a there's a look of shock as my pupils kind of like dilate down, and then I start laughing, <laughs> and I pass Tin a drink. I think I think everybody like drinking. <laughs> yeah. I think I think everybody uh, everybody like goes quiet as Kenyon like marches up and then just. Whoosh, Slaps Kinian, and it's just Tenu- like dead silent. Er, yeah. slaps Kinian. What did I say? You said Kinian slaps Kinian. Damn, son, he that's a drunk. <laughs> real drunk. Uh, uh, it goes. Who's it goes, a bad boy? I'm a bad boy. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, uh, so uh, it goes dead silent when uh, when Tenuvial, uh, walks up and slaps Kinian, and and then Kinian laughs it off uh, and passes you a drink, uh, Tin. What did you do with the piece of six? I, I brought it here. Why did you have to knock Bon out instead of using your words to talk with us? It seemed easier. He knew I wanted it. That's still not acceptable. Not letting him get away with it. You see what he di- did with a taunting at that poor Kraken? <laughs> poor Kraken. And, and, <laughs> and you the get whole drunk crew. and laugh yeah. all around. Yeah, the whole crew's like, ha! Wait, what? You fought the Kraken? <laughs> Kenyon, you you can't just go knocking us out because things are easier when you do that. I tried to take it from him earlier in the day. But he but he didn't let me take it. Well, maybe you should work on using words instead of just doing things. So that way, we all know what's going on, and we don't know, get punched in the we face. We know your propensity for seeking your own riches. So if you tell us that you're going to take it to the giants for safekeeping, we're more likely to give it to you rather than think you're betraying us and taking it for other things. I told you. Intelligence check. Hold on. Intelligence check. 18. 18. (laughs) You know what propensity means. You're not offended. (laughs) (laughs) Quick question. What does propensity mean? (laughs) I have no clue. That's why I was like, that is beyond Kinian's vocabulary. But somehow you've heard this. Yes. You really not know what that means. I don't know what I was. Propensity that was not Bond. Like, that was Adam right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Propensity <laughs> is. It's my natural. Yeah, you're, yeah. That's what it sounded like. I, I, I did not know the word, it's like, but I, I got the kind of your propensity from to context. do something. It's almost like your natural, like Urge, leaning towards inclination. Or, yeah, your inclination. inclination. There we go. Yep. Yep. Queen Sarissa was very impressed with our work. And I'm like holding back laughter, basically. Um, but look, this. And I produced the the sack with everything except for the potion. <laughs> okay. All so right. I kind of soften a little bit because a Kenyon hasn't done something incredibly stupid besides 
punching Bon. I was expecting a lot worse. And the fact that he's sharing, probably not all of what he got, but he's at least sharing some of what he got. Because he can't read it. I can't read it. <laughs> he's like, exactly. She gave us two pieces of paper and, <laughs> and a bunch of gems. Worthless. <laughs> and I'm still just kind of tired too, so. I, I take the beer that you've, probably been holding out for like a minute or had put in the table in front of me or something. I don't, I don't know. Kinian can hold on to a drink for more than a minute and not drink it himself. It's sort of that. I did give you the drink. Okay. Well, <laughs> you like so, you like pick it up to your mouth and you're like you're like, what is this beer? And Kinian's like, yeah, beer. <laughs> it's straight liquor. It's like <laughs> it's like a pint of liquor. But yeah, so so I, I sit down next to you and take a drink and then just give you a quick side eye. If you knock one of us out again and we're and, I, and, and we're I not, interrupt you. And we're not under a curse. Oh yeah. I interrupt you when I burst up like drunken Kinian and I stumble over to Bon and I'm like, oh, 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 oh. Your turn. Do me, do me. And I, like, I actually, I get down on my knees and uh, turn my head, and I'm like, Bon, come on. Come on, come on. It's your turn. I, ju I just stand there, and I say, uh, do you still have my sword? <laughs> what? The sword from earlier. I don't have swords. I use axes. In your javelin case? Uh, I don't know. And, uh... I put my hand up, and the javelin case, my quiver, reacts to what Kenyon's thinking about, and a potion pops out. <laughs> Is it this? No, can you try again? It's a, it's a long sword. It's black. I don't... I don't remember that. How about you empty it, and we just make sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. I don't go to looking through your guys' things. Now you we can... don't steal your shit. <laughs> can, can can you just can you just try and try and pop pop it out? What's it, what's it look like again? It's all black ish, right? It's all black. It's a long sword. Got gems on it. It's got gems on it. it looks expensive. Looks expensive. Oh, I definitely don't have one of those. And I put my hand up and I say, Fancy Blade! This? Is is it that? Yeah. <laughs> I say so. Yeah. Yeah. It's just yeah. Fancy Blade. Do you hand it to me? <laughs> this looks nice. And I check the balance. Oh, it's perfect. Like, like it would balance on the edge of your finger. Like the hilt, yeah. essentially. Yep. You don't use swords. And I pass it to you. Not, I don't know what it is. Uh, when he grabs onto it, uh, it it seems to like glow for a second, and uh, and then uh, fades as if it's been reunited with something. I uh, I turn to Kenny and I say, "Don't talk to me," and I walk away. I don't talk to him. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Minette, you see these scrolls, and uh, you recognize one uh, just from, like, a brief glance uh, when when uh, Tin's, like, rummaging through the, uh, the knapsack, and uh, you recognize it as a uh, scroll for Mordekainen's sword. And, um, and Tin... Uh, you see the other scroll, the 8th level scroll, is a scroll, a cleric scroll for Earthquake. Not bad. I'm going to start shuttling the crew back. Okay. So like one at a time kind of a deal? or? Well, you can use the conch Just because you're attuned. So. Conch them all back. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, so you, you can pop the whole crew back. You guys want to kind of put this on uh, like a fast travel mode and head towards Waterdeep? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
Hey, thank you so much for listening. Uh, what a fantastic episode. We cannot wait for next week's episode. Uh, we hope you stick around to find out what happens next. If you want to find out more about the show, about our characters, or things like that, go check us out on dmstable.com backslash rwa. DMs Table has got information on how to contact us through Twitter or Facebook or things like that. Um, go check it out, and we'll see you out on the internet. See ya.